Hello my dear friends assalamu alaikum <clears throat> we had told you that uh, we will uh, discuss about the abdominal regions in the previous video here i had divided the abdomen into nine different regions you sh should please go and watch that lecture to make clear all your uh, confusions regarding this diagram right it's a little bit complicated diagram but no problem we will clear it in 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 the end of the lecture inshallah we will have a clear concept of what organs are present in which regions of the abdomen right so if you if you watch the previous lecture regarding this diagram it will be very easy for you to understand all these important terms right so let's move forward and divide all these regions okay the first region that we are going to discuss about is this one look this is our abdominal cavity right this is the diaphragm what is this friends this is this is diaphragm right above the diaphragm we have our thoracic cavity and below the diaphragm we have our abdominal cavity clear friends so abdominal cavity was we have divided into nine regions so look the first region we will start from here right this region as you can see in this uh, uh, lateral to this uh, right lateral line line right as i have told you in the previous lecture we have cleared it so this is our right lateral line this is our left lateral line this is our trans pyloric line this is our trans tubercular line right so lateral to this lateral right lateral line there is the superior region right as you can see lateral to this right lateral line there are three regions the superior most is called the right hypochondric then in the middle there is right lumbar inferiorly there is right iliac region right so this region is called our right hypochondric region why we call it hypochondric because this region is present below the ribs right below the lower ribs you can say right that's why we call it hypochondric region so look i will name it here this is our right hypochondric region right hypochondric region what are the organs or viscera's which are present in the right hypochondric region so look carefully my friends i divide these organs giving them different names right as here will be the digestive organs here will be the excretory organs here will be the endocrine organs right so we will divide the organs in in an easy manner to make it clear right so the first type of organs that are present in the right hypochondric region are called the digestive organs right which organs digestive organs so which digestive organs are found in the right hypochondric region so the first digestive organ that uh, that is present in the right hypochondric region look carefully is our liver liver is has different parts liver is a big gland liver is a big organ in our body not all the liver right not all the liver friends a part of the liver is present in the right hypochondric region right so we say that liver has two lobes how many lobes two lobes liver has a small lobe a small left lobe and a big right lobe right so about about 60% of the right lobe is present in the right hypochondric region right so liver plays its very important role in digestion of food by release of bile from it right so that's why we say that in the right hypochondric region there is a digestive organ and that organ is called the liver so friends please be careful i told you not all parts of the liver are present here 
about 60% of its parts are present in the right hypochondric region, right? So liver is the digestive part of the digestive organ of the right hypochondric region. Then we have gallbladder. Gall bladder. As you bring the posterior surface or the visceral surface of the liver, you will find that there is the presence of gallbladder. I have mentioned it a little bit here. Look, this is our gallbladder. This is the lowermost part of it, right? So this is called the gallbladder. Other parts are present posterior to the liver, right? So gallbladder is present in the right hypochondric region that's why we say that gallbladder plays its role in the digestion of food that's why we put it in digestive organs right okay then there will be extra hepatic biliary apparatus so not all parts of it because other parts will come towards the epigastric region and down right so we don't write that here so there is liver there is yeah gallbladder then other thing that is present look you can see some parts of the small intestine will also be there so we say that small intestine small intestine dear friends not all parts of the small intestine please don't make it confused right so not all parts of the plant small intestine a very little parts of the small intestine will be found in the right uh, hypochondric region right friends the next part that is found there look carefully listen this is our cecum this is our ascending colon so some parts of the ascending colon is also found in the right hypochondric region so we say that ascending colon again i am telling you that not all parts of it please don't make it confused for yourself and others Look, this is ascending colon. So the end parts, the distal part, the last part of the ascending colon is found in the right hypochondric region. And then there is the hepatic flexure, right? The fifth part is the hepatic flexure is also found in the right hypochondric region. So we say that right colic flexure or we say that hepatic flexure that's so simple right and the sixth and the important thing that is found a very small part of it is found in the right hypochondric region that is the transverse colon right so the first part of transverse colon is also present transverse colon not all parts of it please friends don't make it confused for yourself and others I'm again and again telling that some parts, some parts, some parts, so please you make it understand, right? So there is the ascending colon, some parts of it, then the hepatic flexure, then some parts of the transverse colon is also found there. So these are the digestive organs which are present in the right hypochondric region. Clear friends? Then we say that the second group of organs which are present in the uh, right hypochondric region are the endocrine organs. Endocrine. Right? So look carefully. I, what I want to tell endocrine organs. So which endocrine organ is present in the right hypochondric region? So for clear understanding, you, you know that liver plays its role in endocrine activity. Right? So our liver, not, not only it plays its role in digestion, but it also plays some of its role in endocrine in producing different hormones, right? So we say endocrine organs, liver is found there, right? In the hypochondric region, liver is found. You can see your kidney here. Look, I have shown some parts of the kidney which are present in the, look, this part of the kidney is found in the right hypochondric region. This part is present in the lumbar region. Then this part is present, some part of it is present in uh, uh, umbilical region. And some parts of the kidney is present in the epigastric region. Right? So this part of the kidney that I have shown is present in the, yeah, right hypochondric region. So you know that our kidney also performs the endocrine activity. How? It releases erythropoietin hormone. It releases renin hormone. 
right? So all these hormones are playing in our body endocrine functions, right? So that's why we say that the endocrine organs which are present in the hypochondric region are liver or kidneys. Kidney. Again, I will tell you, not all kidney, right? Not all parts of the kidney. Some part of the kidney is found in the right hypochondric region right friends so endocrine organs in the th third group of organs which are present there are called the excretory organs friends excretory organs which excretory organ is present in the right hypochondric region you know that our kidney is very important to play its role in excretion of different substances from our body, right? So, kidney there performs the function of excretion, right? So, not all kidneys, some parts of the kidney is also found in the right hypochondric region. So, kidney plays its role in the excretion of different substances from our body, right friends? So, the next thing that is very important is, are there any lymphatics? Lymphatics, lymphatic organ, no, there are not lymphatic organs friends, right, there is a big difference between lymphatic organ and lymphatic node, right, as you can see, spleen is a lymphatic organ, thymus is a lymphatic organ, not node, right, so there is there are small nodes which are which will be fine, we know there are nodes which are fine, but not organ, lymphatic organ is not present there. So none of the lymphatic organ is found there. Right friends? Okay. And what about reproductive organs? Reproductive organs. Is there any reproductive organ in the right hypochondric region? No, no, none of the reproductive organs are found in the hypochondri right hypochondric region. So we say none clear friends so if you keep in your mind these things that are there any digestive organs in the right hypochondric region yes we have many are there any endocrine organs yes we have some are there any excretory organs yes are there any lymphatic organs no are there any are there any reproductive organs in the right hypochondric region no Right friends, so this was about the organs of the right hypochondric region. In the next lecture, see you about the organs of the epigastric regions. So till then, Allah Hafiz.